Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna show you a quick hair tutorial. This is something I do if I'm heading out to dinner, if I'm going to a party, or if it's someone's you know, birthday, Christmas event, anything where I just want a natural, Victoria's Secret sort of style hair. So it's beautiful, flowy curls. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to start with my NAC Repel Ends Leave-In Moisturiser. This stuff's great because it protects your hair. <laughs> Couldn't open it then. Protects your hair from heat styling. So I put it down um, from about here down. So if I take it up too high it becomes too oily and then my hair gets too flat and um, because my hair is really thin it seems to get flat really easily and stringy. So you can use this on dry hair as well, or you can put it in your hair after you've towel dried it, before you um, dry it and straighten it. So I've already, I washed my hair yesterday and I blow dried it and then I ran a straightener through it. And as you can see, my hair starts going curly straight away. It gets a bit of a wave in it. it smells really good. Mm. Love this stuff. And it's not oily, that hair stuff as well, this um, Repel Ends. So you can put this in your hair every day. I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it about once a week because it's a nightmare washing it and it takes hours for me to do it all, the whole process. So that stuff's really good and it protects your hair. Grab, <coughs> eat half your hair. All right, grab about from here up. So get that out of the way. And then that's what I'm gonna do last. <laughs> and we're done, ready to go out now. This is called a novel. <laughs> okay, pop this up here. And then I'm gonna split it down the back. And then I'll just start with sections like this. So I'm gonna use my curve, I think this is called. It's a GHD tri-zone technology. Pretty sure it's called a curve or something, but it's shaped, as you can see, it's shaped. Um, got a bit of shape through it. It's not like a round, normal curler. All right, so sections about that big. So this is really quick to do because I hate spending a lot of time on my hair. So not all the way up. I'm bringing it down probably around my mouth height. And you hold it here for about 15 or 10 seconds. You don't have to hold it for too long. It depends if your hair is really thick or not. You might need to leave it longer, but mine curls quite well. So there's a couple of different ways you can do curls. There's a way where you grab it like this and you literally just, see how it twists? I don't want you to do it like that with this. It's because it'll go sort of wavy. This one, I'm wrapping it around, but keeping it flat without it twisting. So it creates that curl. And if your hair tends to drop um, really easily, you can take it out of that and then you can even put a clip there and hold it and wait for it to cool down and then release it and it'll hold that curl a bit longer. See how that one's already sitting up higher? So with these curls, I'm actually bringing the hair away from my face rather than going forward. Ow. So you're wrapping it away rather than the other way. So I'm going to use my NAC fixation finishing spray and just spray the ends while they're still holding this shape. So I will separate them, but just lifting it up a little bit and spraying from underneath. <coughs> spray your face. And I just scrunch it up a little bit. Wow, I've got a big whiff of that. I feel drunk from it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really restricted here sitting here with these sides. So normally I'm standing up and I sort of lean over and do it like this. Just scrunching it up so it retains those curls and doesn't drop out too much because my hair does tend to drop a little bit. And then I'm gonna get rid of this thing, whatever that is. So I'm just grabbing that big section and then Bringing it down to there. 
So I don't want my fringe in it too much because it can sort of flick out too much and curl up funny. So any parts that you feel like have fallen out a bit or need a little bit more, you can just redo it and hold it a little bit longer. And then because that one's flicking in a little bit, I'm just gonna try to shake that out a bit. Now I'm gonna get my comb that's broken. <laughs> Still works though. And then just run it along here. So you just bring it through maybe about a centimetre wide and just separate this. And then just tease it a little bit. So holding it straight up and just pushing down. And then while you're still holding it up, I just brush it over on the top part and then I bring it down. You can spray it if you want a bit more of a hold. You can spray some um, hairspray in that. Now we can start separating the curls. So I didn't spray the, the top parts because I want them to be a little bit more loose. So just separating them. So sometimes I'll go upside down like this and then just spray the ends and around the back. And then scrunch it a little bit and sort of mess it up from the roots. And then flip it over. And you're left with these Nice flowy big waves. You sort of play with it a bit. So usually my hair just does it, like it literally does its own thing. So whatever I do at home and then I step outside, it just, you know, does whatever it wants to do. But usually this I can deal with and it, it usually stays quite well throughout the night because it is just messy and it's close to what my natural hair does anyway, my natural curls. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And if I don't like that, I can also mess it up, flick it over to one side, put, put one behind my ear. Do that as well. So that's what I love about this style, if you can call it a style. You can do so many different things with it. And it's just really flexible and flowy. And natural sort of looking. Natural, but not natural. <laughs> So there you have it. This is how I style my hair when I'm heading out and I want that real feminine, beautiful, Victoria's Secret style hair. This is what I do and it's really quick and easy and flows nicely. It's not too structured. It's not set in a certain way that you know can't be messed up. You can do whatever you want with this, mess it up, throw it around, <laughs> dance all night and it still looks pretty good. So I hope you like it. Make sure to subscribe, check out my Facebook page, my Instagram and my Snapchat.